All right, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Wednesday morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, very recently, in fact, over the past couple of weeks, a small business from Cape Town has made its way onto international news sites all over the world for making ice cream. So you might be wondering why ice cream? We eat ice cream every day. Well, this one is made from something called Ento milk, which uh, is made from insects. And this morning we're joined by co founder and head product developer Leah Besser. Thanks for being here, Leah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm really fascinated with this concept. I mean, Ento milk, they say it's full of nutrients, it's made from insect lava, but is it actually milk? It's not milk in the conventional sense, in that you're not milking it from a cow, um, but in its application, it can be used as a milk alternative much like your, your almond milk or your coconut milk. Okay. Yeah. And it's high in nutrients, much like milk, so. I want you to take us through the process of how it's made, but I also, you know people always go, who was the first person that looked at a chicken, looked at it, lay an egg and say, I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> so how did you discover the, that this could actually be done and then take us through the process? Um, well, actually I did my master's in food science where I looked at insects as an alternative source of protein. So it's been quite a journey. Um, I started on meat. And from there, um, I sort of looked at the industries that needed more alternatives. And yes. from there, I got to dairy. Uh -huh. And actually, at the beginning, we sort of thought to ourselves, like, this is going to be a ridiculous attempt. Like, why even bother? And when it actually came out really well, because it's very fatty, mm -hmm. so it makes a really good, rich and creamy milk. Um, and then we made an ice cream, and it was so delicious. I, I think it actually surprised us as well. Yeah. <laughs> then we sort of, from there, worked on the experiments. And that's how we got to, to our entomog that we have today. Yeah. That's but incredible. I want to know the, the steps. I mean, we've made ice cream in the, in the, yes. in the kitchen before with the plastic bag. Take me through the process of making into milk ice cream. So the actual milk is sort of under a protected um, research Patent thing at the moment, okay. yes. Okay. So um, from there, the actual ice cream steps are very, very similar. It's, mm. um, in our ice cream, we use only raw ingredients. So we have honey and cocoa and into milk, nothing else, okay. which is also what makes it really special because you don't have any of your stabilizers or your preservatives in it as well. Wonderful. Yeah. It sounds incredible. And you've, you've obviously studied this because you said you did your master's based on this. Why do you think it's so important for the world to move towards, you know, alternative protein sources? I think the biggest thing is just the sustainability. Um, I mean, population is growing at such a rapid rate and urban um, or conventional farming can't keep up. So we, we need to look at other op options that are sustainable and that grow quickly and have the same um, benefits as well mm -hmm. without producing your greenhouse gases and land space and water space. I mean, especially for Cape Town, it's such a, such a real issue now that just the water consumption mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and the resource use. So we're gonna have to look at alternatives, not that anything is one solution. It's gonna have to be a multi-step approach, you know. So it's just one of one of the many options that I think are very, very viable. Yeah. Okay. I feel well, like we are dancing around it. Yeah, we, we are. We were dancing around, but now it's time now to it's time. Put, put the into milk ice cream to, to the test. Okay. okay. All right. So here we go. And it's, yeah. All right. Definitely I'm gonna go full spoon. It's yeah. so <laughs> chocolatey. Made from Asian town. Mm. It's massively it's chocolatey. Very chocolatey. Very yeah. dumb. Mm. This is really good. Thank you. Like, I can't believe this is made from into milk. I'm going to just try it again, just, just, yeah. just to make sure. We're mm. eating insect lava now. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. Rich in nutrients. That's really good. That's really, good. really good. Thank you. If people are going to get a hold of you guys, where can they do that? So, we're actually going to be at the Earth Market on Saturday. Um, we want to expand our, our production, so we, we're actually running a. Um, a Thunder Fund campaign at the moment, so mm -hmm. if anyone's feeling particularly generous. <laughs> um, yeah, Do you so have rewards? Yes. Yes. So the, the actual ice cream rewards are sort of limited to South Africa because mm -hmm. shipping is shipping ice cream is not as easy as one would think. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but we have a lot of like branded things um, and experiences. So, yeah, have a look. Um, but yeah, so we're at the Earth Market at the moment, and then we're also doing corporate events. So we've actually just shipped ice cream to Joburg for for an event. So we're sort of catering to people's wants and desires at the moment. We're yeah. Yeah, well, quite I think open. all it takes is a little bit of curiosity. A lot of people might look at it and go, Ugh. but no, try it out and it's absolutely ice cream. amazing. It's unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, Leah. Thank you very much. We, we already had a taste, Graham, and I'll have another one for you. Listen, send us a text message when you list on the JSE because uh, we want to buy shares. You know? <laughs> thank you very much. Check it out, guys. Intermilk chocolate ice cream. Oh. Mm -hmm. So good.